Hello everyone. Today I will be attempting to repair this GTX 1070. It's an HP branded card, but it's actually using a reference PCB. Now, before I begin, if you would like to learn more about GPU repair, I have written guides on Lewis Rossman's repair.wiki linked below. I really encourage you to check them out for more detailed information. Okay, so the very first step is to check for any physical damage. In my case, there was none, so I will continue to checking for shorts on the various voltage rails. Starting with the main rails first, 12V bus. No short, okay. 3.3V bus, also no short. 12VEXT, no short. Now on to minor rails, starting with 5 volts. No short. 1.8 volt rail. No short. VMEM. Higher resistance than usual, but should be okay. Now on to PEX. Also no short. Okay, great. The car doesn't have any short, so I can proceed to Turn the card on. Now I am using a riser and a lab bench power supply to power on the card. This makes it easier to work on, um, plus I can monitor how much power it's pulling. Okay, time to measure the voltages, starting with 12 VXT. Okay, 12 volts, good. 5 volts, good. 1.8 volts, good. Now V core. Well, there is no V core. Um, obviously, VMAM won't turn on as well. Same with PEX. All right, let's figure out why V core is not turning on. The IC responsible for regulating V core is the UP9511P. I will be checking both uh, VCC and EN pins and see what I have. Starting with VCC. 5 volts, good. Now enable. Okay, so there is no enable signal. Um, let's investigate why. Looking at the schematic, we can see that the enable signal is generated by U506 AND gate, which has two inputs and one output. The output will go high if and only if both the inputs are also high um, and the gate is powered, of course. Input 2 is just the power good signal from the 1.8 volt regulator, and input 1 is generated by this dual NPN transistor Q130. I'll start by measuring the output of the U506, and nothing. Now the input 1, also nothing. Input 2, 1.8. Okay. So the AND gate is missing input 1, which in turn is not letting EN go high. Looking back at the schematic, you can see that Q130 is a dual NPN transistor. The first transistor is controlling the second transistor's gate, and the second transistor is controlling input 1. When the gate of a transistor is high, the transistor will basically connect the emitter and collector together. As shown here, when the gate of the first transistor is high, it will connect the gate of the second transistor to ground, basically pulling it low, which will let input 1 of the U506 go high. The opposite is also true. If transistor 1's gate is low, transistor 2's gate will go high and connect input 1 to ground, effectively pulling it low. I will start from the beginning and check the gate for transistor 1. And nothing. On the other side of that resistor, there is 12 volts, so I suspect we already found the problem. That resistor I measured is a part of a resistor divider, where R1 should be 10k ohm and R2 should be 1k ohm, which according to the formula should create around 1 volt between R1 and R2 at the gate of transistor 1. I'll desolder the resistor and check its resistivity outside the circuit.
So yeah, this resistor has became an open line. I will go ahead and replace it with another one. So I powered on the card and let's see if anything changes. 0 0.7 volt on the gate, great. I'm gonna check the output of the AND gate. 3.2 volts, nice. And the enable signal, 2.4 volts, okay. VCore should be running now. And it is VMEM, 1.5 volts, nice. And PEX, 1 volt, very good. If there is no other problems on the card, um, it should output the picture now. And it did. The card has been running for Mark for about a minute or two now, and everything seems to be okay. I will run it for a few more hours to make sure it's rock solid. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.